Hi, I'm Ski Oakenfull at Point Blank Online. I'm a producer, composer and keyboard player and I've worked with bands and artists like Incognito, The Bays and Joe Negro. And you're watching Electronic Music Composition. In the years since we've launched this series, we've been inundated with requests for more tracks to analyse and we've loved your suggestions. This video is an exclusive preview of a brand new course you can enjoy at Point Blank Online to take your skills further. We've called it EMC2, so head on over to pointblankonline.net for more details. So we're going to have a look at this track by Todd Terrier called Inspector Norse. As I understand it, he made the track using an ARP 2600. So I've got Ableton live here, I've got the Live 9 beta, and I'm just going to try to recreate some of the parts. So there are two sections I want to look at. This is the first one, which has the first chord progression. It's also got that really distinctive melodic hook. And this is the second section here, it just comes in once, it's like a sort of middle eight section. Let's just play that to you now. So the first thing to do is to look at the key signature. On Beatport it's actually listed as being in F major, but I want to investigate that a bit further. So let's have a play along and uh, see what's going on. Okay, so definitely this is a dominant note here, this F, so could well be that Beatport was right, but it's interesting we've got this E flat here. If we just played a scale of F major, there's certainly no E flat going on. If we played the scale of F major with the E flat, we get this, and what we have here is a mode and it's the Mixolydian mode which is built on the fifth degree of B flat major. And if we play the scale of B flat major now, there we go. Um, but if we start playing B flat major on the fifth degree, which is the F, so this is our scale of B flat major, one, so one, two, three, four, five, get the Mixolydian scale and uh, I would say that this is in F major but using the uh, F Mixolydian scale. So let's have a go at playing the parts in. I've recreated the drums here. This is built on a 606 kit but I've also added another couple of sounds. Uh, I've got a 909 kick because it's a bit punchier and uh, I've also got the inspector or snare which just appeared at the start of the tune which is quite handy. So first of all let's play in the bass line. Go. So you can see that's going from the E flat to the F and it finishes off really nicely with this run at the end. So now let's have a go at playing the chords in. Now these chords are an E flat major 7 and an F6. So let's just put those in. part. Now you'll notice on the original that it was quite swung so I think I'm going to try to put some swing on this. I've already got some swings that I put into the groove pull. Uh, they're basically just uh, degrees of 16 swing here. Um, let's try quite an extreme one. Let's maybe try the 1645. 
just to quickly recap, this bass sound uh, is one that I created using the analog and this chord sound as well as uh, using the analog, we've got a bit of reverb on there as well. So now let's look at the lead sound. And the lead sound is quite kind of improvised. Um, I'm just going to try to recreate this particular section of it. This is another sound that uh, I've created using analog. I've got a bit of chorus on here. So let's try playing that in. There we go, and you can see that it's built on all the notes uh, of this F major scale, or the F major Mixolydian scale. It, it kind of feels like it's in G minor as well. B flat major, which uh, is the kind of root of this Mixolydian scale, is the relative major of G minor. So, you know, we could kind of improvise in G minor, but kind of quite bluesy scale over the top of that, and it would sound pretty good. Let's go to this section now and just have a quick recap. So the melody is pretty much the same, but the bass line is doing this. And these chords are actually G major, to C minor 7. So just to recap, uh, on the first section the chords were this, E flat major 7 to F6, and the second section it goes to the G major to C minor 7. So let's put in the bass line first and then we'll build the chords on top of that. use a different sound for the chords. Let's put that in. So let's try playing the melody over the top of that. So it's just a few of the elements of this track. It's a really, really nice tune and uh, hopefully you can play along and it will inspire you to do your own tune. At Point Blank Online, you've got two methods of interaction with your tutor. Firstly, you've got the weekly online masterclass, which is in real time. And then also we've got feedback on your assignments, and that's known as DVR. So the online masterclass is a one hour session you get with your tutor every week. You can ask questions about lesson content and get instant feedback and also demonstrations on the fly from their computer desktop with our streaming technology. DVR stands for Direct Video Response, and the concept is really simple. You upload your Ableton Logic or Cubase project file to your tutor, he downloads it, and then pushes record on the screen capturing software, and it evaluates your work, so basically giving you one-to-one -one feedback. You see all of the mouse movements and any parameter changes made by your tutor. It's kind of like sitting in the studio over their shoulder watching what they're doing whilst they work. We have found the DVR process has truly revolutionized the way that we teach online and the results speak for themselves. Book your place on the course now by visiting pointblankonline.net.